uh, we're here at the World Creators Summit, and I'm here with uh, Maria Palante, who's a Register of Copyrights uh, for the U.S. government. So hi, Maria, and uh, really great to have you on the show. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. It's a wonderful conference. And it was a fantastic address that you just gave uh, here. So first of all, uh, what is the role of the, of the Copyright Office uh, as part of the U.S. government? So the U.S. Copyright Office is part of the Library of Congress, and we, uh, since 1870, 1897, that era first started in 1870 and then later um, officially incorporated in 1897 have been a key advisor to the US Congress on copyright policy we administer the registration and recordation systems of the United States we administer other provisions of the law uh, and we have a public office that handles questions from the public and uh, we have an international team that supports our colleagues across the U.S. government. Yeah, and uh, you talked about uh, uh, taking a, a more sort of step-by-step -step approach uh, to the to the review of copyright because, of course, a full review uh, done all at the same time could take years. As you mentioned, the last one took uh, uh, around twenty years. Uh, and so uh, you talk about holistic approach. And so, do you, what, what do you think are, are the key areas that require uh, uh, some uh, uh, look at? So that's a great question. The, the key areas are uh, areas Congress has been debating for a long time. Uh, so they're not brand new. It's not as though everybody woke up one day and said we should look at the copyright law. So uh, full public performance right for sound recordings, orphan work solutions, um, innovative enforcement uh, mechanisms that may include a mix of, of legislation, private agreement, um, and uh, best practices, for example. Uh, flexible, flexibility, um, making the law more accessible to people who have to navigate it, uh, consumers, teenagers, uh, teenagers who are consumers, uh, educators, uh, people who, who really um, need guidance and who want to do the right thing. Uh, making sure that exclusive rights fit the way that, that works are made available to the public. Yeah. Um, if works are increasingly being streamed, do we have provisions that um, reflect that? Uh, not only on the scope of the exclusive rights, but also on the enforcement side. And uh, supporting robust licensing regimes. Uh, as we go forward into the digital age, licensing should be uh, painless, invisible if possible, expedient, efficient, and everybody will be well served. Those are just a few. Yeah, sure. And uh, you talked about uh, also, some, of course, the Copyright Office is a point of reference for uh, your congressmen that can ask you questions uh, that are both theirs and their constituents. So talk about some of the concerns that were expressed to you by congressmen. What are, you know, maybe a couple of the more interesting uh, stories or, or, you know, concerns that you've taken into account uh, when uh, thinking about this review? Well, yeah, so the so different congressional offices um, reach out to us on a range of, of questions, some very big, what should the next great copyright act look like, yeah. and then some very discreet. Uh, here are issues I'm hearing about in my district, uh, where I may have a university or I may have uh, a tech company, uh, where I have uh, a lot of authors uh, struggling. So uh, we're very pleased by the level of interest and um, commitment by members who talk to us. Absolutely. They seem, um, in my view, to be very much aware that uh, authors uh, are having a difficult time making a living, that um, the internet has changed a lot, but that core principles of copyright must apply, yeah. uh, that it's important to culture and to commerce. They ask about um, DRM, they ask about orphan works, yeah. they ask about fair use, uh, they ask about licensing. Um, yeah. I think there's not an area that they haven't asked us about. And then more philosophically, they ask questions like, why has the copyright debate become hostile? Yeah. How do we get back on track? Um, how do we get respect back into the system? And how do we make it accessible to people who need it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, finally, uh, why now? Of course, that's that's the question. Uh, you know, uh, n nobody doubts that there is a need uh, for for reviews uh, both uh, in in Europe and in, in the U.S. Uh, so why now? Well, I think um, from where we sit, and again, we administer the law and we do policy analysis every day. Uh, so it's clear to us that um, there are so many issues that. Um, probably need review and provisions that need to be updated, and we also need a few new provisions in the law, that they're all interconnected, and introducing one at a time um, isn't going to lead to a balanced copyright act. At the same time, courts are struggling a bit. What's the scope of the public performance right in the digital age? Um, 
what is the scope of fair use in the digital age? And they um, really need guidance from Congress uh, as they kind of work through these issues. So from where we sit, um, you know, all we're doing now in the U.S. is having a conversation, identifying issues, talking to all of the different stakeholders. Um, the subcommittee will have a series of hearings where everybody will have a chance to talk about what's what's working, uh, what are the benefits, what's not working, what could be improved. And then I think from there you'll see um, that with the great leadership that we have now in Congress, they'll identify some priorities and then they'll move forward. So, um, you know... All we're doing is having a conversation, but uh, I think it's very productive. Absolutely, that's great. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day. Thank you so much.